Yeah, so the, uh, the Bible says that <laughs> uh, <laughs> very scriptural, very biblical. Yeah, just be Phil. Go ahead. Just keep. Uh, you can tell I don't care. And those of you that it's a little strange, uh, you're missing out. Just lean in. Eric gave you the recipe to all of life. It says that the Bible says um, Jesus was anointed with the oil of gladness beyond his peers. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Acts chapter 2, Peter stood up and he said, uh, it's like in the morning time, you know. He says, we're not drunk as you suppose, remember? But it's that what Joel talked about. And um, so... A lot harder than it looks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jesus, Jesus. So, wow. Um.
Paul said, uh, don't be drunk with wine. <laughs> Y'all know the verse already. Okay. Yeah. But be filled with the Spirit. Huh? What'd she say? Sober? Oh, wow, wow. Thank you. <laughs> That's encouraging. So, uh, yeah, so. We're doing five o'clock? Okay. Well, my session's over, but <laughs> but thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna try and share a few things, and then uh, we'll just. I think the good thing is we have a big break, so if you know if you need to eat or stay, do whatever. Um, but um, I saw a few things, and um, the uh, man. <clears throat> Sorry, it's just it's not easy sometimes. For, okay. The I'm just trying to think where to go. I'm sorry. It's just. Uh, <laughs> So I had, I had a flashback this morning in prayer, um, if it would be okay with you guys, but I want to run it by you, uh, which makes sense kind of what's happening now. Can I tell you guys how God's a trip, some of the prophetic? Uh, he, you know, because I, I don't always know, well, sometimes I do, I'll see how he's going to move, and I never know how, though, or when. He just, I find out often he's not too impressed with my sermons, though, because he interrupts them all the time, you know. <laughs> So that just doesn't, doesn't work too good. So you can never title them or just me walk away and feel like, man, that was polished. You know, it doesn't work. So you kind of got to get over yourself. But uh, so, no, one of the things, I'm, I kid you not, I have it in my journal this morning. You know, how many of you know it's really important to steward the voice of God as he speaks? So, uh, so I'm waiting on the Lord. And um, it's really good in here. And I'm getting smoked to one of Eric's, um, you know, the one with the dove on it. Is it the, the <laughs> I'm real visual, the bliss, uh, yeah. Oh, which by the way, um, I'm sure a lot of you know of him, but he has these schools as well called the schools of his presence. Yeah. And you just do not want to miss these. I'm telling you, plane, train, bus, whatever you got to do to get to those, your world will be flipped upside down. He doesn't tell you a lot of the stuff that I know behind doors. I think you just had one where he, an angel came on his left side and people started getting smashed. I don't know if you told the people in the room, probably not knowing him, but, but um, anyway, you don't, you don't wanna miss those. If they're in your region and then if they're way across the nation, the school of his presence. But anyway, so I was getting uh, really smoked this morning, you know, and uh, I saw a few things and one of them, I kid you not, real big in my face was the all caps, LOL, 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 like, you know, where you say laugh out loud. And they were on fire, and I knew it was going to break out sometime in this meeting. I didn't know how it was going to happen, <laughs> but it's just like God, yeah. Like that helps solidify the theology to it with any of you guys, and not at all. But anyway, <laughs> he's into it, so. Uh, the fullness of pleasure is at his right hand in heaven, and so um, anyway, uh, 
Oh, but one of the things I saw, um, which uh, to man, just can we give a hand to Daniel and C-Fan there? Just, yeah, <laughs> cream of the crop, incredible. Um, I mean, highest honor, like so honored to be here. Love Daniel dearly and just everything they do is with utmost excellence. You know, the spirit of God's upon it and I could spend forever on Daniel himself, just a man of integrity, but so considerate, humble, give you the shirt off his back. That's what I love to point out behind doors that you guys don't see and uh, just love them dearly. And uh, I got to tell you this one quick story that I thought was also incredible. Not only, we all know it, Daniel can, there's just nothing he can't do. It's like Superman. And uh, we, we have to fight off envy at times. But we were, I was blessed to go with him to Africa, Ghana, or yeah, Ghana, and uh, already knew, you know, of course, to carry the weight of that call, just what a profound, you know, breed he is in the Lord. And, uh, but this was awesome. There's nothing spiritual about this, okay? So just, you don't need your notebooks. So uh, <laughs> but I thought it was an awesome uh, story. I'm hammered, sorry. I'm like leaning on the pulpit. And uh, <laughs> normally I walk around a lot, but it's just not smart. <laughs> so we're on this plane going to uh, Ghana, Roy Fields as well, you know him, and it was such an amazing time and probably a good 10, 15 hour flight. I mean, we were, we were on the plane for a long time. So you dress comfortable on these planes, right? 12 hour flights or what have you. And we're about a half hour out, we're about to land and I see Daniel get up and go into the restroom. I'm like, huh. And, um, and he was in there a while. So I was like, oh, he's got other business going on, you know. <laughs> that wasn't it at all. Which we all, hey, that's life. And, um, but <laughs> he, uh, he, he, but so he goes in. We're just, he comes out. You know the airplane restrooms. They're not the most spacious. And we're kind of on the bigger size, you know, side of things. And so, uh, but he comes out full out sport coat, totally like Superman in the, in the telephone booth. <laughs> and I was like, how did he do that? And that little space came out. I, I saw it took him out looking like a million bucks, which he's always handsome, but I was like, man. And, uh, and then I realized why, because when we landed, you, I mean, you should go, I don't know if they're allowed trips, but um, I think you guys went to Ni Nigeria, a lot of you, but I mean, literally you step off the plane and he's getting bum rushed by cameras, news, people, dignitaries, it's a big, big deal because uh, of the, just the incredible name and the weight over there. And so uh, I was like, sweet, they don't have a clue who I am. I'm in sweatpants or whatever, you know. <laughs> and uh, I kind of ducked around all the people. And so it's just, uh, it's amazing. But that's a funny story I love to tell behind doors. It's like just watching the weight of these guys. But just love these guys dearly, man. Todd, Michael, EG. And uh, yeah, they're so, so special to me. <laughs> but uh, one of the things I, I, I saw was, um, if we can squeeze through, you guys are actually seated perfect for it. But I, I had a flashback this morning in prayer. I don't know that I'd call it a vision because those are typically, you've not seen them yet. But I had a flashback of a scene that this almost 20 years ago when we were in Bible college together. Totally forgot about it, but I was um, in the back of the orange. Uh, and it's similar to this layout minus the balcony. If you remember the pews and everything, it's real similar. And I was uh, in the back corner. And uh, the, um, I'm sorry, let me say this first about CFAN, sorry, because I, I saw this on the flight here, this is where I was going. And uh, I went into a, a vision picture for CFAN on the plane flying to this conference. And I, I think this is for you guys. And I saw uh, an iPhone watch, a square watch, and uh, there was flames of fire, four of them, at the 12 o'clock, the 3 o'clock, the six o'clock and the nine o'clock, north, south, east, west. Um, and, and I knew it was these fire conferences. You guys may already be talking like this. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. And you, you, the Lord may give you a better download or just pray about it. We're just going to be faithful with stuff I hear. Um, and I knew there was something that the Lord's going to give you guys with technology because uh, it was an iPhone watch. It looked just like Russ's actually. When we got here, I said, oh, there it is. So I don't know if Russ is involved with this stuff at all. Because I knew you didn't have one, and I don't have one. But iPhone watches, 
that it's more of a calling to it. It has to do with your phone. There's way more technology to it than just telling time. But there's something I believe that God's going to give you guys, and I think it's needed publicly sometimes to share this stuff because it will land on the right ears with having multiple fire conferences going on at the same time that I think will even overlap time zones and be really exponential. Um, and somehow through technology, I think God's going to give you guys the downloads. So like, for instance, we're here, but I think there's going to be same registrations and all, but corporately, because, you, you know, if we're honest, there's something to do with corporate gatherings versus individually online at your house. There's uh, something built with expectation and hunger. And so something, they'll probably still all register the same, but show up 1,000, 2,000 other venues and churches that can house it. And, and you know, you'll be able to project it. And then I could see, like, you know, miracles breaking out and satelliting back to what's going on simultaneously. And I think these are going to get really out of hand in that regards, like a multi-regional. And, and I think it'll uh, overlap time zones as well going on at the same time. So uh, maybe just pray about it. But that's the best I could see from that. Yeah. Does that make sense at all? Have y'all thought about anything like that or not yet? Not, oh, oh, y'all have thought about that or not yet? Okay, yeah. And I don't know if Russ had anything to do with it, but, um, but yeah, it's just something to do with these conferences having, you know, like it, at one time when they're launched, having multiple going on at the same time through, I guess, uh, satellite and stuff like that. But the flashback I had this morning was to, and I'll land it pretty quick, um, was a uh, morning in the orange, we were in chapel. And that morning, um, I was back at the house and a, a demonic attack came, you know, honestly. And like Eric said, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but sometimes the enemy overplays his hand. So I'm in bed and I, uh, <laughs> and my, my eyes, Come, Holy Spirit, set her free in Jesus' name. So anyway, uh, my eyes start going like crazy. I was in a, it was basically a demonic attack. It really scared me. I was trying to grab my eyes and stop them. We do like natural stuff in the, you know, it's supposed to be spiritually a, addressed. And, uh, and they were just going behind my eyelids. I was lo losing my equilibrium and all this stuff. And it, it really messed me up to where I could barely walk. And I knew we had chapel that morning though. And I didn't realize that, the Holy Spirit, there was going to be an encounter that morning in chapel. And how many of you know often the enemy can foretell like ebbs and flows of the Spirit when something is about to happen as far as encounter? And I think it's going to lead into tonight, of course, the Daniel session. I don't know what's going to happen. It's just going to get out of hand and then with the fire tunnel. But you see it all throughout Scripture. Moses is being born a deliverer, and they can pick up on it. The enemy starts killing off all the Hebrew babies just knowing Jesus is born. They start, the, the, the devil can tell sometimes. So I fought through it. My equilibrium was shot. I made it to school anyway. And it was one of those specific mornings where the Lord just took over chapel. We were at the Browns Revival together in a, a, it was very similar to this, the orange. And heaven hit the place. It was holy mayhem. And uh, I remember, I'll never forget, like Daniel says, when you encounter God, you'll never forget even the place on the carpet where it happened. You know what I'm talking about? And I believe, I want to pray here in a second, but leading into to tonight, even with the theme of the conference, there's encounters you can feel that's going to flip destinies upside down, forever change you and mark you. And many of you, I feel like destiny's been hemmed up. It's going to break things free. There's going to be commissioning, anointing, impartation, so many things when heaven hits. And um, what happened was I was in the back in Indian style, and people just spread out just like this. And uh, in heaven, you know, swept in really, really strong. And uh, all of a sudden, the leaders started going throughout, laying hands on people real fast, and uh, people were getting rocked. And uh, Bob Gladstone, I think it was him, they, Dr. Brown, all of them just went throughout, and he came and laid hands on me, and I went into this crazy encounter. And had I not gone, I would have missed it. You follow me? And that's, then I knew why the demonic attack came. So I feel like um, that's going to happen. If they can maybe come with the keys real quick. And, um, and then leading into tonight, I don't know if it's John Wilds or who, yep. And uh, would love to pray. Also, this is just the, the goodness of God. I saw um, somebody struggling with sexual sin and just what you're putting before your eyes. And, and I want to pray with you quick 
super easy. Repentance doesn't have to be some awkward thing. Very easy, and God loves you, but he's going to set you free. Also, some addicted to cigarettes, specifically the brand Doral or Doral. I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't used to fool with those kind, but anyway, I saw the box. Don't raise your hand. I'm not trying to embarrass you, but, um, but heaven wants to set people free. And um, so just repeat after me, okay? It's real simple. Repentance is easy, and he's going to set you free just like that. Many of you as well, there's certain, like, um, the Bible calls it the little foxes that destroy the vine. Or those sins that so easily entangle us. And when the Lord comes in this way, there's always a John the Baptist that foreruns Jesus. And he purges sin and straightens up crooked paths. And heaven's going to be able to land upon you greater in a destiny way. So just repeat this after me, real simple. Jesus, wash me in your blood. Make me new. In your precious name, amen. Now you just don't go back to it. You're free. See, it's easy. Yep. Yes, yeah, so he's not upset at you. He loves you. But how many of you know there's certain things that hinder from the fullness of destiny? And it's real easy. Sin is, any, the Bible says, anything not done in faith is sin. So you, if you don't have a strong faith in certain of these things you're involved in, faith that God is in it and he's called you to do it, it's sin. It's real easy. He loves you. You know, He just wants to set you free so we can step into destiny. So, um, But if we can, I just want to lean back into the spirit real quick. And if you guys don't mind, if we just go quick to lay hands on just the people on the, yep. And uh, I believe many of you just stay where you're at if you're seated. But those of you in the aisles, we're going to just come through real quick and lay hands on you. And then I'll be, obviously everybody tonight uh, will get in the fire tunnel. Some of you may want to hurt running the aisles, huh? <laughs> You're like, dang it. <laughs> no, if you want to, you can, but we're going to come real fast. Don't stand up because, you know, some of you may fall out, but it'll be softer. you just fall into people's laps. There won't be like trees falling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I also saw there's going to be a real deposit of um, uh, dreams and visions, specifically right now in the realm of the prophetic eyes to see. And um, hey, hey guys, I see you. Yeah. Hey, and uh, Pastor Christina, how are you guys doing? Um, but a real deposit of the prophetic. So it, some people may be commissioned in the office of the prophet, but the Bible also says, in the last days, I'll pour my spirit upon all flesh. So how many of you are flesh in here? Wow, many robots and stuff. All right. But the Spirit of God is going to come upon you. Sons and daughters will prophesy. Old men dream dreams. Young men see visions. I turn 40 next month, so I kind of just take them both. I'm kind of right in between. But I really saw that clearly. There's going to be many of you. I encourage you to get journals and begin to steward God's voice. 1 Corinthians 4.1 says... We are to regard ourselves as stewards of the mysteries of God. And he'll speak through parables and pictures and dreams and visions. So, yeah. Even now, just begin to see Jesus. And um, honestly, if you want to get out into the aisle just in Indian style, we're going to come through real fast, only just because I had that flashback. And we're going to just walk through. Make room for us to step through, though, and just real, real fast. Um, but just receive the spirit right now. God, I thank you. Thank you right now. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Some of you may even want to put your hands on your eyes as a prophetic act. God, I thank you for eyes to see right now in Jesus' name. Eyes to see and ears to hear. All over this place, come Holy Spirit. Be filled right now. Spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your will. Right now, dreams and visions be loosed in this place. Prophecy. Gifts of the Spirit be stirred up. Prophetic pictures, images and prayer from the voice of God. Parables and riddles by his voice. Jesus' name. Now, all over this place, just begin to sing in the spirit and, and focus on the Lord. We're going to come through real fast and lay hands on you. Believe for encounter right now, divine encounter. 
whatever it is. There's going to be commissionings, gifts imparted, healing in bodies. I don't care what it is. Jesus, your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, let it out like rivers. Don't worry about the person next to you or how they care what you sound like. There it is, let it out. Ooh. Glory, come. Come, Holy Spirit. God, I pray all over this place, divine encounters in Jesus' name. Like that flashback I had in school, the encounters. Encounter your people, God. Never the same. In Jesus' name. Commissionings, impartation, giftings, elevation, acceleration. Yeah. Just let it erupt like Daniel said, a hemmed up volcano. Let it explode now. Let it explode now. Let it explode now. Rivers, rivers flow. Rivers flow. All right, stay where you're at. Focus on Jesus. It may get a little rough. We're just going to step through bodies. Ooh. 